Uh, Delacorp is the largest uh, provider of ketamine therapy in America. We have uh, 13 clinics in nine states, um, really focused on transforming mental health in America. Uh, I, I really think it's a very interesting moment in psychedelic therapy. People are really looking for alternative methods to heal their minds. And um, we've been very focused on, on really growing and scaling the business. Uh, we plan to open another uh, 12 clinics in the next 18 to 24 months. Um, and just right now, the business is doing about a eight and a half, nine million dollar run rate. Uh, and the the main focus has been really getting people in to learn about uh, new modalities of treatment. We think that ketamine is an incredibly powerful way to really help people with their mental health issues. Um, and we built an ecosystem. So we really think that that's very interesting. We have the largest uh, platform for psychedelic information. It's called Reality Sandwich. We have the largest event um, for psychedelic uh, culture and information. It's called Meet Delic. It's here in Las Vegas in November. We have 2,500 people there. Um, and we really have been focused on kind of building this ecosystem and allowing people knowledge and information on how to find alternative methods for treatment. So I'll go to the next slide. Uh, you know, to us, the problem is mental health treatments are broken. There's there's way too many people who are suffering from major depressive disorders, suicidality. Uh, last year alone, there were 100,000 uh, suicides, which is five times the previous record. So, you know, the mental health system is just not working. Uh, 51 and a half million people uh, have some form of mental health disorder that they're struggling with. And when you look at it, 40 to 70 percent of people on antidepressants relapse, or they don't work, or they have issues. Um, and it's a massive business. It's a quarter trillion dollars was spent on mental health uh, and other parts of that industry. So we think there's there's a lot of room, and there's no scalable, trusted network for people to find this. So we, we really spent the last couple years building it. Um, so you know, what we see here with ketamine is really fantastic. <clears throat> ketamine therapy, um, there's a 70% response rate in 24 hours. So when people get this interventional therapy, 24 hours later, they're feeling better. And that's, that's a huge issue when you understand how people deal with depression and anxiety and how hard it can be for them and their families for keeping people alive and sane. Uh, and, and we really think that you know, people are open to this modality. They're open to new methods of treatment. We did a Gallup poll last year where 83% of people responded were interested in other modalities of treatment for mental health. So, you know, we, we think there's a lot to be done. Um, so here's, here's what we've built. Uh, we've Meet Delic, the largest psychedelic wellness event in America, Reality Sandwich, Delic Radio, Jazz Network. Um, all those things funnel down to our Ketamine Wellness Centers. Uh, as I said, we have 13 of these in nine states. Um, and what do they do? They're, they're an IV therapy of ketamine paired with uh, mental health and wellness kind of coaching. And, and you know, they, the business has done uh, over 74,000 treatments. Um, and we have incredible data. You know, I, I think one of the most amazing things that I can talk about is how well it works for people. You know, we have anywhere from 60 to 80 percent of people are getting better, clinically better by their own self-report standards within two months of doing this therapy. Uh, and you know, the, the big thing here is we're dealing with people who are considered treatment resistant. So there, there are people who are not, you know, the, the current crop of pharmaceuticals are just not working for. They're unable to get better. They feel stuck in their, trapped in their head. Um, and, you know, I, I think it's just such a beautiful thing. One of our big achievements this past year was getting a contract with the Veterans Administration to administer ketamine for depressive disorders and PTSD with veterans. We have three states operational now where we're working with the VA and helping uh, military veterans with their uh, mental problems. And it's just been amazing the 
the way these people talk about how they felt before they found traffic therapy and how they felt them is just so magnificent. So, um, yeah, I just, I just think it's a really incredible moment change in people's lives. Um, so, you know, just to give you a sense on the market potential, um, 32 million people in this country have tried psychedelics at least once in their life. So there, there's a, you know, 10% of people have, have dabbled in this already. Um, and 65% of Americans believe that these medicines should be available for treatment-resistant conditions. Uh, and that's part of our parents' goals. Um, half, a, half a trillion dollars is spent on prescription drugs. Half a quarter of a trillion dollars is spent on mental health. Um, you know, 71 billion is spent on depressive disorders in one year, 16 billion in anxiety disorders. So the, the scope of this, of treating these mental health disorders is so huge. We just see a need to innovate and change. And, you know, for us, I think the big opportunity is to build this scalable infrastructure that delivers a high quality treatment today that kicks off actual cash flow and profitability, but also built a, a large chain of these around the country as other drugs are approved. So right now, um, psilocybin and MDMA are in phase three clinical trials. Uh, we believe about two years from the first one being approved. So we think having a large scale infrastructure that is trusted for providing psychedelic care will be a, a really huge advantage as people come online looking for new modalities to treat themselves. Um, so just, just give you a sense on the business model and what it looks like. Uh, for us, it costs about $250,000 to open a clinic. Um, that's CapEx, rent, staff, everything. Uh, it takes between six and nine months to get to cash flow break even. Um, by month 18 to 24, it's doing about a million dollars top line with 25 or 30% operating profit. And that's all based on ketamine. And if you look, our, our sessions are kind of set up in a fairly simple way if people come in you know, presenting with uh, mental health disorders, depression, anxiety, PTSD, they'll get a, a six time booster set up. They'll come in and it'll be about a $450 average spend per session. Um, We've just launched Bravado, which is a, a Johnson & Johnson through treatment resistant depression version of ketamine um, to help people uh, also tap into the insurance with the main persons that come from them. Um, you know, we, we also see this uh, as insurance coming in harder now. So in, in the past, we were getting about 20 to 25% of our uh, revenue from insurance. Um, already this year, we're on track to do about 40 to 50 percent insurance. So we think that's a huge opportunity to grow that uh, and, and you know make it more affordable and accessible for people. Uh, we've also launched uh, NAE Plus, which is a um, new therapeutic for um, cellular energy and uh, helping people with addiction and, and uh, kind of resetting their body. Um, and we think that's another interesting revenue stream that's going to pump up uh, our revenues over the next year. Now, if, if you look here, uh, our average 10 year spend for a patient is about $62,000. So, if we get someone who comes through our pipeline and gets ketamine therapy, around that 10 year mark, they'll spend about $62,000 on this. So, we think it's a really valuable person that we can run through. A lot of it comes down to being able to find care when they have a depressive moment or need help. So that's a big part of scaling this across the country and making sure people feel comfortable wherever they are if they need ketamine therapy they can find. Um, now the other part of this is, you know, as I said, psilocybin and MDMA are on their way. Uh, you have psilocybin clocking in somewhere between eight and ten thousand dollars a session. And MDMA between four and five thousand dollars a session. Now those those sessions last a full day and require two therapists in the room. So they're they're a higher touch, higher cost kind of business. But in terms of revenue and profitability, we see you know the same kind of basic clinical layout that the five rooms with treatments, um, and we can really bring in, you know, one of those rooms can be turned to another uh, psychedelic substance very easily and, and bring up those numbers. Quite substantially. So, we think that's a very interesting inflection point for us in the next two years or so. 
Um, and here, here's a little something on the patient outcome. So if you see here, bipolar depression has an 80% effective rate, uh, major depressive disorder 76, PTSD, anxiety, depression is about 65%, and borderline personality, um, 50% effectiveness, and borderline is one of the hardest things to treat in mental health. Uh, so we've really seen incredible efficacy. Um, now, you know, when we talk about building an ecosystem, I think that's something that's very interesting is this ability to bring people through the door. So as an example, we did this event, Meet Dallas here in you know, Las Vegas last year. We had 2,500 people come to the event. The two days after the event, we got 2,000 phone calls to our hotline for ketamine therapy which was more than uh, they had previously had in any month before that. And it took us <laughs> to Annapolis to get back to everybody and back to the staff based on it. But it was a very interesting kind of trial run in how we can drive adoption. And I think part of this is people just don't know that uh, psychedelic therapies exist yet. There's, there's maybe 5 or 10% of people who are very uh, forward thinking and know about it, but I think to there's still the vast majority of people who are just curious and they want to know, hey, my, I have this depressive disorder, I have to take this pill every day, I feel like shit, I have no uh, sex drive, I feel like I can't do anything, what do I do, how do I change this? And I, I think there's just so much um, interest in alternative modes of healing and, you know, with, with the pandemic and with all of the mental health crises that have come along with it, I think there's just many more people who have had these issues who are looking for ways to find another way forward, another way to be well. So, you know, I, I think it's really interesting. And so we've used our own ecosystem to really drive traffic. So, you know, we're growing our patient count at 10% a month. And a lot of that is owned and operated traffic driving people to these plants. So we think that's a, a cost-efficient and effective way of getting people to come uh, find out about ketamine therapy. Um, another part of our business, we have a, a lab in Canada that has a Health Canada license for uh, psychedelic cannabis and, and hemp research based at the University of British Columbia, uh, doing outsourced scientific research around uh, different chemical compounds and how to use them for a bunch of other large businesses. We have a, a fairly profitable business that allows us to look into the scientific background and stuff and really um, you know, be a leader in the space. Uh, so here is, here is our uh, map of where we are right now. If you look up here, uh, the yellow is where we currently are. So we're across a lot of the Sun Belt, uh, some of the upper Midwest in Florida and in Washington State. And, and the plan is to open uh, a couple of more in Florida and Texas because there's a lot of business there. Uh, and then focus on some of the Northeast because we think there's a lot of country and mental health disorders up there. And our, our strategy has really been uh, going after not the primary cities. We're actually, we have one here in Las Vegas. Um, we think it's it's much more important to be in places that have a better cost-effective structure. So we're not going to New York or Los Angeles and paying crazy rents or crazy salaries to have these people um, get started because, you know, if we look at the unit economics, it becomes that much harder to get to cash flow profitability. Um, so, so we really focused on this second city model, places that are large, you know, Houston, Dallas, Seattle, Jacksonville, Las Vegas, um, where there are tons of people, but there aren't these crazy high costs. And it also allows us to have a, a very um, capital efficient uh, structure for, for how we run them. We have a singular doctor and, and psychiatrist who are on staff at the corporate level, and they hang their licenses at all of these clinics with a, a lower level staff member actually running physical uh, data bank of the clinic. Um, so we think that just gives us a great competitive advantage. Um, so, you know, when we look at this, um, we think that, that there's a great opportunity in this market. You know, it's, obviously things are uh, less um, bubbly than they were six months ago. And so, you know, we, we think there's going to be some interesting acquisition opportunities. 
as we really uh, scale and grow and allow us to kind of uh, build and scale our own clinic network and then tell you some stuff that you know people are operating with. So, so we think that's a great opportunity to become um, the standard of care for uh, psychedelic therapy. Um, there's my small face. There's a little something on our team. Uh, you know, I don't think we need to go through them all. There's a little something on our competitor comparison. If you look, um, Novamind, uh, which, which was doing, uh, had got four fewer clinics than us and uh, a, a lower quarterly revenue. Uh, and it was just purchased for about $26 million. So we think there's a, a lot of room for growth. Um, when you look at where we're at today, we're at about a nine cent share price, which gives us about a $12 million market cap. Um, and as I said, our revenues are somewhere between eight and nine million years. So we think we're trading very, very low based on where we are. So we think there's a lot of room for it to grow. Um, <clears throat> here's a little bit of the timeline. Uh, here's the cap table. And, you know, I, I think why invest now, right? <clears throat> we think there's just a lot of uh, undervalued opportunity to grow. We think we've built this very large and profitable business that can continue to scale. We have a corporate um, setup to really grow. And we think there's just a lot to do. So, there it is. Any questions? Please. Sure. So, uh, as of the last quarter, we had about 1.6 million in cash on hand, and we run about 100 million. Any other questions? In terms of um, so, yeah, we're, we're looking at doing a, a smaller raise sometime in the next quarter. Um, really looking to fund um, the rollout of the next four to six clinics and getting the business to total cash flow profitability. And we think that uh, we have a plan for about a 12 month run ramp up to getting the, the whole business to pay for itself. And right now, it's difficult the size of the business to pay for. The fun stuff of being a small public company and the audience of really growing all the other kind of Chinese expenses. We think with about uh, 18 clinics, we'll be at a place where the, the business pays for itself all the way. So, the clinics that you're running now, do you have a link on your website? No. So, is there a nurse? Yes, there, there are uh, high level practitioners, whatever the practitioner's rules are in each state. Right. So it depends on the state. Sometimes it's a CRNA, sometimes it's a NA, sometimes it's a MA. Um, you know, it's, it's really dependent on which state we're in. Like here in here in Las Vegas, we have a RN running uh, the business, and then we have three EMT level people who actually physically go into the room and sit with them and start the IV and get them to, you know, Bring their experience to do. So we're actually rolling out a, a technology platform across the clinics that's going to capture all of the data together in a basically not, not an app but a web. You know, portal where people come in that's HIPAA compliant. So everyone will come in, they'll get texted, and they'll come back with where they are on the self reporting scale. It'll help with kind of scheduling the appointments, knowing when people are ready, and pulling together the data so we can map out. You know, right now we have, we have back end data, but it doesn't match everything because you have an EHR that doesn't match with the um, CRM that doesn't match with the number rules, right? So we're, we're putting that out. It just rolled out in the clinics this month. So call it three months from now, we feel confident we'll have something that is just a back-end data software that shows exactly where we're at. 
we are talking to some large uh, developers about looking at this one just because we have a large scale framework. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>